What's up y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I'm going to show you guys the best place in the game for farming Savage Blood. Now if you guys don't know what Savage Blood is, it's pretty much like a byproduct of whenever you do a large work order in your level 3 barn. Real simple, it's about a 40, 30-40% chance you'll get a, uh, a Savage Blood out of your little work order container, the little bag that you get. And it sells for, like, on my server, four to 500 gold. I think whenever the patch comes out, because it'll make them easier to get, they'll go down to about two to 300, probably not lower than that, because demand will also increase. But I can't really determine that right now. All I do know is they will still sell for a pretty good amount of money, and this is going to be a very lucrative way of making money, even probably in six, uh, patch 6.1, but I cannot, of course, predict the future. Now, the reason that this is such such a good farming spot. It's like, I mean, obviously a lot of you guys have probably done Savage Blood Farming before. You're thinking like, oh, okay, what is this guy going to do? Be killing Kleptos faster than I am? No, it's not that simple, okay? The reason that this is such a good farming spot and this rotation that we have is, such, is so efficient is something that we've talked about before in a lot of my other farming videos, and it's what's called forced respawns. Now, what forced respawns mean is that some mobs, certain mobs will actually respawn whenever you kill another mob. And so you guys saw that in the wolf farming video and probably in a couple other ones I just can't think of right off the top of my head. And so anyway, their, their respawn is not tied to a, a time interval, but it's tied to the death of another monster. Which means that the faster you kill these, the faster they respawn, the faster they respawn, the faster you kill them. And of course, it's just a cycle. And so the faster you can do this, the better. Uh, I'm going to speed this up because I want you guys to get kind of a rhythm for how this is working and this is at the bottom of the grand of course i'm going to show you guys on the map i think it's like towards the the middle to end of the video um, i'll probably just put up a little picture on the screen so you guys can tell right off the bat and so anyway as you guys can see uh we're going to do this in pretty much about three to four pulls each time and each pull is going to be an aoe pull now what makes this more efficient than farming the wolves is the wolves have a shorter chain and so that means that you can't pull them all together in the same way that you can with these cleftos because or sorry, not a chain, a leash. That's what it's uh, kind of unofficially called. And so that means that you can pull them farther uh, together, farther away from their initial spawn point before they reset automatically. They go into evade and then they run back to their normal zone. And so as you can see here, here's four of the different kleptos. And in this pull, we do about uh, four to six. And you have to pull this guy too. And if you don't pull him, the other ones at the top won't always respawn. Or they'll respawn at different intervals and it'll kind of mess up your uh, your farming rotation. Now, we were doing this for like a couple hours. Like This is actually one way that I actually make gold. And you guys know that I hate farming, right? And so, I mean, y'all got to think, like, if I'm actually doing this, if I'm actually farming, it's got to be really good, okay? And so this pull right here, we usually do three to four, usually four, sometimes three. It just kind of depends on what's convenient. And it's really important, guys, if y'all are going to do this, uh, that you go, kind of uh, that you get in a group. And just the reason for that is that the traps only have a 15 second cooldown or they do have a 15 second cooldown and so it's not like you can just lay down five traps in a row and just a we all all three of them down and so it's actually very efficient to have a group of people so everybody can lay down traps and you can trap all of them more quickly and so my buddy was able to get 700 of these uh um what do you call it of the of the beasts i guess like the uh, the kleptos he's able to trap 700 700 of them in four hours and so that's of course including logging on to his character running over there and everything else like that now for me i was able to get about a hundred of them in about 20 minutes uh give or take like honestly probably probably give because it was probably a little bit longer than 20 minutes but i'm pretty certain that it was less than 30 and so it's really important to uh, make sure that you have a full group for this so you can maximize the efficiency of course of having the most amount of people because as long as somebody in your group traps the uh, monster if you're within about 20 yards you'll still get the uh the credit for the beast as well and also another reason is of course as i talked about before making sure that you have the uh the actual um what's it called uh, I can't believe I'm, I'm drawing a blank on this. Have have as many traps as you need because, of course, you won't really be able to do that if you don't have a, you know, like right now, like we've got how many of these are there? There's like uh, five of them and there's a sixth one coming. So unless you have like five people there, it's going to take you a really time, long time to trap all these things. And so this is really, really efficient, very easy way to make money. And so I would recommend this to pretty much anybody who has a level three barn and share this uh, share this spot with your friends. Actually, my buddy Tricked Gun, because he I, I do Savage Blood on four characters and he does it on seven characters, which is why he had 700 because he got 100 for each. Uh, fun fact. Anyway, um, so he obviously it's in his best interest to figure out how to do this as fast as possible because he spends a lot of time out here. And so this is pretty much what he's figured out. This is, in my opinion, the most efficient way because for one, you can AOE them down. 
and two, they also, you never run out of mobs to AoE down as well. And so guys, uh, I hope this helped you, and it helped me a lot because I was able to cap out at least two of my different characters for, uh, I think it's like over two weeks, over two weeks of, I don't have to do this at all for two weeks because that's how many of these things I got. So that's pretty much all I've got for you guys, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.